The Telegram channel General SVR writes that the Russian Federation has reached some intermediate consensus regarding the transfer of power. Putin may even announce his resignation as president. Subsequently, he will have to take the chair of the chairman of the Constitutional Court. They say that the two main towers of the Kremlin will share power and responsibility, creating some semblance of a system of containment and mutual guarantees. In addition, it is claimed that by the end of October, grandiose changes will occur in the political life of the Russian Federation. A YouTube presenter spoke about this channel now, Angelica Pichik. In turn, her interlocutor, Abbas Galiamov, a political strategist and former speechwriter for Putin, commented on these rumors. It's clear that the system is heading towards collapse, the analyst said. The system needs to be saved, and the best way to save the system is, of course, to get rid of Putin. Thus, the transfer of power in the Russian Federation, according to all laws of logic, should indeed happen. Galiamov believes, because if you want to prevent a revolution, you must organize a reform. This is the ABC of political science. The expert emphasized, in some situations, when the contradictions between society and the government or different social groups are so acute, as they are now in the Russian Federation, a revolution becomes inevitable. We are currently moving in this direction, and the only way to prevent a revolution is to organize a reform and begin to regulate conflict relations. Before Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, President Vladimir Putin looked set to stay in power for as long as he wanted. Under a series of constitutional amendments passed in 2020, he can stay in office until 2036, when he will be 83 years old. However, the war against Ukraine has turned into a stress test for Russia's leadership and regime stability. The Kremlin has stabilized the political system after the mutiny of Yevgeny Prigozhin, the now deceased leader of the private military company Wagner Group, and Putin remains popular. However, internal Russian elite politics and competition are difficult to decipher from the outside and can lead to unexpected outcomes and surprising reshuffles. Практичні стрільби з зенітно-артилерійського комплексу SkyNex і по різних типах повітряних цілей. Усі злагоджено працюють. Слава Україні! Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Equatorial Guinea's President Teodoro Obiang Gema in Moscow. Putin said Russia has been successfully cooperating with oil-rich Equatorial Guinea in the Gas Exporting Countries Forum and the OPEC+. Our common task, of course, is to stabilize world energy markets, Putin said. The two leaders will discuss bilateral ties as well as the current international and regional topics, the Kremlin said. Дорогие друзья, еще раз всех вас приветствую в Москве. А свое выступление стало незаметной частью международной энергетической повестки. На это мероприятие ваша страна является нашим партнером и в организации производителей газа, экспортеров газа, и в ОПЕК+. Мы сотрудничаем давно с Экваториальной Гвинеей и успешно. 
Нашей общей задачей, безусловно, является стабилизация мировых энергетических рынков и в целом вместе с партнерами в рамках этих организаций нам удается эту задачу достаточно эффективно решать.